I'm Suzanne, Head of Carer Support here at Mobilize, and this is our next video in our series on fixing our to-do lists. We are breaking through procrastination and we are finding ourselves more time to do the things that matter to us, those things that are important, and more time to switch off and relax without guilt. So this episode is all about our beliefs and busting through some myths that might be holding us back. What do you think? Do you believe that you work best under pressure, up against a deadline? Or do you believe that one day you're gonna feel more in the mood to do something? I'll, I'll do that tomorrow, I'll be more in the mood. I'm not in the mood to do it today. Um, maybe you believe that you're the only person that can do some of these things on your to-do list. And maybe you believe that you're too busy, that you're just really, really busy, and that everything you're doing has to be done. So I want to challenge some of those things because they might be myths. They might not actually be true and we might be holding our beliefs on those things. So it's important that we check in and see whether those things are true to us. So we've each been working on a um, regular routine task, something that we do quite a lot that we want to work on and improve and a bigger goal, something that's really for us, a, a bigger dream project. Now, this will apply to all sorts of things, but it's quite useful just to have those things to, to work on through those things as a kind of little exercise. So, which of these things rings true for me? Um, I'm the only one that can do it. That's my myth. And that's what I've been tackling with my weekly shopping list and getting my Tesco order done and planning the menu and all those sorts of things and involving the rest of the family. And what that did mean was that we had to look at how we do it because I was the only one that could do it because it was all in my head and in my notebooks and in my phone and those sorts of things. So I needed to open it up to everybody. So at least now I've managed to get other people to start adding stuff to the shopping list. Um, switching that to Alexa made it a bit more exciting and made it a bit easier for me. So that's great stuff. What about those bigger dreams and projects? Um, sometimes we believe that we work best under pressure. So if you're studying, do you work up to a deadline? And actually, science says we don't actually work best under pressure. Pressure does help us to focus and it draws our attention. It gives us a little choice about what we have to do. But it also pumps up the adrenaline and that adrenaline doesn't help us to think clear. So we probably actually don't do our best work under pressure if we're really honest about, about it. But it might be that that's just the only way that you have found that works for you so far to get things done. So perhaps the issue is more about where you can find that same level of focus um, in clearing some time, clearing some space. And what about that, oh, I'll feel more in the mood to do stuff tomorrow. Those daily things that we just have to do and we know if we put them off, they're just gonna create extra work and extra trouble chances are if they're a pretty dull thing to be doing we're not going to be feeling more in the mood to do them today we just need to crack on and get them done and get them ticked off or we need to shift them and decide is this something i really want to be doing does this really make a difference and what about that i'm too busy we are all busy people and the saying goes um, if you want something getting done give it to a busy person so being a busy isn't necessarily a bad thing. It quite often keeps momentum going and some of us quite enjoy being busy, if we're honest with ourselves. But being too busy, that's a problem where it adds stress and there's just not enough hours in the day. That's not a helpful place to be. So there are only ever so many hours in the day and we do sometimes need to take a good cold look at all the stuff we're doing and decide, is this actually necessary? Do I need to do this? Is this important to me? Is there something I can stop doing? There we go. So some challenging thoughts there for you today. Do have a think. Do join us in the cuppa to talk those through and think about how they apply to you. It's going to be different for all of us. If you can't make the cuppa, join in the chat on Facebook. You can share your comments there. Or even if you're just joining in at home, make a few notes in your notebook. Give yourself some time to think about things and think about what does this mean to me? What changes might I make as a result of looking at the potential myths that I'm believing? Lovely to see you all. Hope to see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.